What do we got? We have a 1763 French flintlock pistol. Okay. You want to see it? Absolutely. These are cool, man. Where'd you get it? Uh, my grandfather passed away. We were cleaning out his attic. Found it in a box. No notes, no nothing. Okay, well, there's no way your grandpa's old enough to be using this thing. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to sell my grandfather's flintlock pistol. With it being manufactured when it was, you have no idea what type of historical events it actually saw. There seems to be a lot of replicas out there, so I think I have the real thing here. Nice. These were actually developed back in the 1500s. The way it would work is you would put your powder in there, pull the trigger, flint would strike steel, drop a bunch of sparks in there, out goes the bullet. All right. The flintlock mechanism was one of the first reliable and relatively inexpensive ways of shooting a gun. And in the late 17th century, they were extremely popular in Europe and North America. It's always cool to see one of these guns up close, and I might even keep this one for myself if I can get it at a good price. So what are you looking to do with it, man? Uh, I think I'd like to sell it. Uh, I'm not really into the older firearms. Gotcha. What are you looking to get out of it? Um, Went online, looked around. They're going for about three grand. Um, some of them are. <laughs> $3,000, it'd have to be a lot rare, a lot more ornate, or have some kind of historical tie to it. Right. I'll, uh, maybe like a thousand bucks, man. Come on, man. It was my grandfather's, so. I, I get you, man, but it's not like anybody ever threw them away. I mean, there's a lot of them out there still. How many you guys have right now? Probably 30. That's not the answer I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do 1400. 1450. Sure. All right, man. Meet me over here, I'll write you up. All right, thanks. $1,450. I feel all right about that. I should be able to go buy something new to go play with. <laughs>